This video is about Ludwig van Beethoven's String Quartet Op 18 No. 1. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Ludwig van Beethoven was a famous German composer who wrote many important works in the history of music. The String Quartet Op 18 No. 1 is one of the first string quartets he composed. It was written around 1798 to 1800, when Beethoven was still at the beginning of his career. This quartet shows how Beethoven took over the classical forms of Mozart and Haydn and began to develop his own style. It is a work full of melodies and harmonic beauty. The string quartet Op 18 No. 1 consists of four movements. The first movement, Allegro con brio, is fast and energetic. The second movement, Adagio affettuoso ed appassionato, is slower and very expressive. The third movement, Scherzo, Allegro molto, is a fast and cheerful part. The fourth movement, Allegro, concludes the quartet with a lively and rhythmic ending. Each movement has its own mood and shows Beethoven's ability to translate different emotions into music. The second movement of the quartet, Adagio Affettuoso ed Appassionato, is particularly well known for its depth and emotional intensity. Beethoven uses long melodic lines here that can deeply touch listeners. This movement is often slower and has a very romantic mood. It is said that Beethoven tried to express the, the grief and pain over the death of his brother in this movement. This movement is a good example of how music can convey feelings without words. The string quartet op 18 No. 1 is technically demanding for the musicians. Each movement has difficult passages that require good ensemble playing and technical ability. The fast movements, such as the first and third, demand precision and speed. The emotional second movement requires the players to play very sensitively and with great control. The musicians also have to listen to each other well in order to present the music as a unified whole. The string quartet Op 18 No. 1 shows Beethoven's transition from the classical to the romantic. In this quartet, one can see how Beethoven began to expand traditional forms and bring more personal expression to his music. This quartet is important because it marks the beginning of Beethoven's development as a master of chamber music. It also shows how Beethoven laid the groundwork for his later, revolutionary quartets. In this quartet, Beethoven adheres to the classical four-movement form that he inherited from Haydn and Mozart. The first movement follows the sonata form, a typical structure with exposition, development and recapitulation. The second movement is a variation form in which the main theme is explored in different versions. The third movement, the scherzo, breaks with the traditional minuet form and introduces more energy and humor. The last movement is again in sonata form and brings the quartet to an energetic conclusion. After its publication, the string quartet Op 18 No. 1 was quickly accepted by music critics and audiences. It was praised for its beautiful melody and emotional depth. This quartet and the other quartets of Op 18 helped Beethoven to establish his reputation as one of the leading composers in Vienna. Today it is often played in concert halls and is an important part of the string quartet repertoire. The string quartet Op 18 No. 1 is written for two violins, a viola and a cello. This instrumentation is typical for string quartets. In this work, Beethoven gives each instrument important and independent parts. The first violin often leads the melody while the second violin, the viola, and the cello provide important harmonic and rhythmic support. This distribution of musical roles shows Beethoven's ability to create interesting and balanced textures. Beethoven was strongly influenced by the works of Mozart and Haydn, which can be seen in this quartet. He took the clear structures and elegant melodies he learned from these composers and added his own emotional depth and complexity. 
The string quartet op 18 No. 1 shows Beethoven's respect for tradition and his desire to develop this tra tradition further. This work is an example of how Beethoven laid the groundwork for his future musical experiments.